All right, everybody, we're just days away from the kickoff of the Women and Film Festival. And joining us in studio today with a preview is Ambrielle Turrentine, the programming manager, along with Kirst, the owner of Afternoon Yoga. Hi, how are you guys doing? Wonderful, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Hey, I'm so excited to have you both here. This is going to be an amazing festival, so so excited to talk all about it. But, Ambrielle, I want to start with you. How long has the Women in Film Festival been running? So the Women Plus Film Festival itself started in 2011 and this will be our 14th year. Wow, yes. 14 years. Okay, so obviously you guys are doing something right. You guys keep coming back, <laughs> that's awesome. So how did this all get started? So the festival initially started as a panel in 2006 that took place at our Denver Film Festival that happens annually in November. And then over the course of a few years, five years exactly, it turned into the Women Plus Film Festival. And then now, like I said, we're headed towards our 14th festival and still going strong. Wow, that is so incredible. So what can we expect this year? Maybe things that are a little bit different from last? year. Yeah, we can expect quite a bit. Uh, we have a variety of offerings for our audience, so we really do have something for everyone. I would say um, film-wise, we have documentaries, narrative films, also a great package of short films if you're looking for something uh, contained and a little bit that gives you a little bit of everything. I know in the shorts program, we actually do um, have an animated film. We have multiple animated films, but we have an animated film about uh, a nun who finds love. It's a little bit of a quirky story. Yeah. And then we, of course, have our heavier subjects, um, one of those being the film We Ride For Her, which talks about uh, missing and murdered indigenous women wow. and how we honor them. Amazing. Okay, so obviously you're learning a lot when you come as well as Absolutely. honoring so many different uh, cultures and ways to, to really experience being a woman in other ways and other other languages, cultures, etc. I am actually really looking forward to seeing some of these films. This looks amazing. Okay, so there's more to just films going on as well, which is so great. Fill us in on what else we can experience. Yeah, so we'll be having two panels, uh, one about reproductive rights and the other, uh, it's called Sexism to Solidarity, which is really just focusing on how women and others can um, be allies and form coalitions within the workplace and outside of the workplace. Yeah. And then we will also be having various special events. Uh, we'll be having our marketplace on Sunday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. That will feature a lot of vendors, um, all women-owned businesses and local businesses, which is amazing, so come shop around. Yeah. And then we will, of course, be having our yoga session, our Film and Flow Yoga. Yes, amazing. Okay, well, we're going to talk about yoga in just a second, but before we do that, too, why does this mean so much to you, and what would you say is kind of the big thing you're looking forward to this year? The big thing I'm looking forward to, honestly, ah, I feel like it's maybe not the best thing to say, but everything, because I yeah. really am looking forward to everything. <laughs> yes. um, I'm always looking forward to our audiences and specifically our Q&As. We will be having two film Q&As with filmmakers of the um, directors of Dignity Lion okay. and the film Seeking Mavis Beacon, so they'll be flying in. In. We'll be having really good conversations with them. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the whole thing. We really have quite a bit packed into this weekend. Yeah, and I mean, obviously the ladies at home are really excited, but is it open to everybody coming? It is, okay, yes. Good. Anyone is welcome. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, great. Well, Kirst, I want to get into some yoga with you too. This is going to be a really big part, as Ambriel was saying. Absolutely. Um, so let's talk about it. First of all, why are you so excited to be a part of this event? Yeah, first and foremost, just super excited to be able to support, to celebrate women, but also to partner with other local business owners like Alive Active to bring in a morning of wellness, of yoga, and community. Definitely. Well, we were talking a little bit during the break about kind of a pose to do uh, when you first wake up, but what are some of the benefits of yoga? I know I've been doing a lot of prenatal yoga, <laughs> and uh, it's been tremendously helpful. So what are some of the benefits that most people can experience on a daily basis? Yeah, I would say the first thing is just tension release. So all those places where we're storing tension, we're storing trauma locked in the body, just using the breath to kind of move that stuff out, and then also nervous system regulation. So learning how to work with the breath to regulate your nervous system and kind of calm down the body. Ooh, love that. We all need that. Let's be real here. Come on. Okay, so let's get into some poses. Um, I'm excited because I got to take off my shoes for this. Yes, one. So, I know. Um, if you ladies at home want to join, or men, whoever's watching, kiddos, whatever, um, walk us through what you got for us today. Sure, yeah. We're going to start. So one of the most important parts of yoga, of course, is the breath. Okay. So we're going to start with a big breath. You can take a belly to the hand, a belly to the heart. Okay. And then go ahead, close down your eyes. Okay. Take a big inhale through your nose. Fill up the chest. And then an exhale out through your mouth. Relax your shoulders down your back. 
And then we'll extend the arms out to a T. Reach through your fingertips. Okay. Make a little space here. We're going to take the right arm underneath your left. So find eagle wrapped arms and then push your elbows towards the front of the room. Make space in between your shoulder blades. This is one of my favorite poses to kind of decompress the tension in the shoulders from all the rounding that we do in our normal lives. We'll take one more breath here. Big inhale through your nose. And then an exhale to let that go. And then you can gaze down at your feet, stamp into your right foot. So really spread your right toes on the mat so you have a little surface to stand on. And then we're gonna find a pose for balance and stability. You'll find a tree pose. You can either prop up your left heel against your ankle here, or you can find that foot on the calf or all the way up to your thigh. The only place you don't want it is on your knees. So okay. you'll pick your place here. And then just stand up tall, press your hands together at your heart. And then we'll reach the fingertips towards this guy, challenging the balance. The wiggles and wobbles are normal. <laughs> and the belly is showing. Of, of course. course. <laughs> and then we'll exhale. <laughs> Go ahead and release. Wow. Oh my goodness. Kirsten, I feel better already. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for being here and for walking us through. I hope anybody who is at home, uh, if you did that, do it on the other side. Make sure you balance yourself out, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And make sure to come and see Kirsten at the Women Plus Film Festival. Thank you guys so much for being here. We thank appreciate you. it. Yeah. Yes, of course, and everybody, the Women in Film Festival starts on April 10th and runs through the 14th at the C Film Center. You can get in on the films, the yoga, and other happenings at the Marketplace. Tickets are available at denverfilm.org.